The University of Connecticut's Jorgensen Theater is hosting a historic event tonight. The National Lviv Philharmonic Orchestra of Ukraine is here to perform at 7.30 p.m. in stores. The group was established in 1902, and since then, they have been traveling around the world to perform at festivals and events, as well as creating records for internationally famous labels. We just thought it was um, kind of important um, for Jorgensen in its own small way to make a statement about the war in Ukraine and the Russian aggression and um, do something that we could do to support musicians from the Ukraine. Russia invaded Ukraine nearly one year ago today, making the orchestra's performances since then more powerful and emotional, not only for the performers, but also their audiences. Um, it was a very scary time in the first two months of the war, um, especially because Russia was attacking from all sides. We didn't know if they were going to reach Lviv. Um, but after about two months, they kind of refocused on the east. Everyone kind of decided to get on with their lives. We started playing concerts again. During tonight's performance, a Yukon violinist and faculty member who is originally from Ukraine has the honor to solo and perform with the orchestra as a whole right in her home theater. Um, I will play by memory for about 25 minutes. And uh, the other pieces on my program are um, Beethoven Symphony, as well as um, chamber work, uh, chamber symphony by my favorite Ukrainian composer, Yevhen Stankovich. I commissioned a number of pieces from him, um, and I'm thrilled to be on the same program as him. The atmosphere here is intense as performers inside rehearse one final time before their show tonight. Organizers said that they are preparing for a large turnout on this evening for this honorable event. I'm Hallie Latender for UCTV News.